So let's take a look now how we can do that with SharePoint and um, using SharePoint for account teams collaboration. So what we can do here is to use site collection and to define one site collection per sales team. So we'll have a North America site collection, uh, EMEA and an APAC site collection. And there what we can do, we can leverage metadata and we can have the account name as a metadata and the document type as a, another metadata. So this way we'll have a lot more options. So let's take a look at how it looks like. So let's go to, let's go to SharePoint. So I'm gonna go back to Harmony and I will go to all locations. And this time I will go to my SharePoint location. And here is the revenue accounts. Actually, I can also see it uh, on, ah, I'm gonna see it in the browser. So let's do it. Uh, open in browser and here it is. So this is my revenue sales team. I have the account library, accounts library. And as you can see, I have account name and document type. I can easily drag and drop some content um, to the browser and boom, copied. It has been copied. Yeah, it's coming. It is. And actually, I need to pay attention here. I may miss it. The file is missing required information. I need to put the account name and I need to put the document type. Oops. So I can pick up. Select the tab, take presentation, apply. That's it. So after now people can see this document and have an ability to it uh, to basically tag these documents or to give them the right metadata. If we take a look at the same account library in Harmony, so I have all these documents, so it's hard to see, but what I have here. I have defined a view and I can take a look by account. So I have a really nice view here when I can see all the team accounts and I can easily uh, have a per, per, per account view. So the interesting things also again with Harmony is I can, I'm integrated with the email so I can very easily update this port. Let's say it's a new version of an existing document. I'm going to post it and that's it. I don't even need to give the metadata because it's a new version of an existing document. So this gives me the ability to very easily capture content. I can do bulk operation if I have a document on my desktop and I want to save them. I can pick up three documents drag and drop them to my Outlook window. I can actually hover on the account name and it will, it will automatically upload all the documents, automatically set up because I hover. It will set up to with the right account name. The last thing I'm gonna do, but it's gonna be a one type one time typing for uh, all the document with the bell operation, that's it. I saved a lot of time here because I had six fields, two fields per document, and I was able to um, over on the account name and this way Aoni was smart enough to apply that account name on all the free documents so then I had to only specify the document type for all three documents. So I had only one 
property filling rather than six. So that's nice time. So if I want to share with, as an email, I can also very easily, the sidebar is in every document and I'm sending links rather than sending attachments. If I press the Alt key, I will, because I know maybe somebody doesn't have access and I'm sending that outside, can press the Alt key and that's it, I have an attachment. So pretty easy to access the Microsoft Cloud, pretty easy to capture and classify content. I can also take an email and I can go ahead and file emails per account. Okay, let's say, uh, so here I'm able to save email on SharePoint and what I get is I have the ability to get automatic mapping of the email field by SharePoint columns. So I can see my e all the email I have saved. I can see the sender, attachment, date, who it has been sent to, and I see the metadata. So that's very special that I can actually apply metadata to emails, and I have automatic mapping of the email fields to SharePoint columns. So this enabled me to keep business critical emails and to not to let them stay in my inbox. And if, you know, when you have business user leaving your company, the emails are lost. It is the only way to really keep business critical emails to the benefit of the organization is to make it easy for this end user, as we talked about, making the right thing to do for the individual is the easy thing to do. And these emails are being captured for the benefit of the organization.